Hello everyone and thank you again for joining me. This is the uh, second lesson I'm doing tonight and it's actually going to follow a little bit of a different format. Instead of programming everything um, you know, during the lesson, which is how we've been doing it, I've actually already programmed this program and we're just simply going to go over it. Uh, basically we're a long way away from uh, programming SharePoint and I want to try to blaze through some of this stuff uh, you know, a as quickly as possible. So. Um, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we see that is different than what we're, we're used to seeing is this new random thing. So what I'm going to do is drag this window over here and show you the MSDN library. You should probably either write this down or bookmark this because um, when you have this you can just type in random and it'll tell you all about the, uh, the random class. Uh, everything you need to know about it, all the different methods, and we'll get into methods and, and constructors and things like that uh, shortly when we start talking about object-oriented programming. But anyways, uh, this is the uh, method that we used, and it'll tell you know basically everything uh, about it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and drag this back over here for now. So we have it. We created a variable called user score and user turns. Um, ultimately, the whole uh, premise of the game is we want to try to get um, 100, 200 might be a little too much, uh, get 100 uh, total, um, you know, dice uh, rolls. Well, not dice rolls, but, you know, um, 100 total, I guess, cumulative points. Um, and, and as many, as, as little turns as possible. So, uh, ultimately, we go, uh, let's just go through it and you'll kind of understand what I'm saying. Uh, we have this for loop. We learned about for, uh, I think last, yeah, just actually, you know, about an hour ago. Um, and ultimately, this looks a little different, and that's because this is an infinite loop. It's going to keep going around and around and around and around until, um, you know, we reach our next new command, and that's break. So let's go ahead and look. It says if user score is greater than 100, uh, write uh, right out to the screen, game over, and then break. If once if we reach this break, it'll just break out of the loop altogether. So that's how we get out of this infinite loop. Uh, so here's that uh, the random stuff. Um, you'll notice it's one to thirteen instead of one to twelve. And if we go back over to to here, um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Where's the easiest? So basically, it tells you the minimum value and the, the maximum value. So the 32-bit sign integer greater than or equal to minimum value and less than max value. So that's why, I, um, yeah, and sometimes it's the way they say things isn't, I mean, it's very precise, I guess. But anyways, it's not always the easiest thing to understand. Um, this just means 12. I mean, we're not going to get, uh, if, we put, if we put 12 here, we'll never get 12. So that's why we have 13 in here instead of 12. So anyways, if our dice roll is equal to 12, um, we go ahead and add to our user score. Okay, uh, dice roll plus user score. Um, you know, that's our existing score. And then we say, congrats, roll for free, continue. And because we go to continue, it comes back up here. We never get to this user turns thing where we're incrementing our number of turns. So, um, so let's pretend for this time we don't just say we get six we got a six so this is infinite user score zero okay so we just skip this all together uh, creates a random number and we get six so we don't do this if uh, statement user turns as you know zero right now so plus plus that equals one so user score equals user score which is zero plus six so we'd um, have six in the user score so right line with dice roll would be six user turns would be one and score would be um, would be six so just say if the next time we get 12 uh, again infinite loop is it great is our user score greater than 100 no um, is um, so we don't break out of there uh, we got we did get a 12 this time so we're gonna say 12 plus uh, 6 you know is 18 congrats roll for free and we're gonna go back up here so Basically, you kind of get the uh, logic of it. I'm just going to go ahead and run the program. Um, so our first row, we got 11. That's pretty good. Our second row, we got a 12. So 11 plus 12, 23. 
plus, and then our, um, our, our, I guess technically our third roller, you know, the one that doesn't count, we got a two, so now we're 25. So you kind of see how this works. Um, feel free to, uh, to play around with it, um, you know, and let me, let me know what you think of, of this lesson where I already have the code uh, written out. Uh, ultimately, it's 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 easier and it's a little quicker for me, but and for you. But at the same time, um, you know, I want to make sure that that you're you're learning along with me and you know exactly what's going on. So, anyways, thanks for joining again, and we'll see you tomorrow.